Okay, um, hello everybody. How are you all doing? I hope we are having um, an awesome day. I just want to share um, something, a little something about myself with, um, with you guys today. Someone recently asked me, someone who knew me from my past recently asked me, how did I get to this stage? Like, how did I become who I was right now? That, what happened? So, I thought I should share a little bit of my testimony on how God took me from where I was to where I am today. I have, um, I hinted it a little in one of the videos I shared earlier, but I just felt like I should um, share it in detail in this video. I don't know, maybe somebody could be blessed by it, someone can be inspired by it. You see, before I actually started my work with Christ in 2013, I actually lived my life the way I wanted to, you know? And I, I wasn't like a criminal or anything, but just like every other young guy, um, I, I was just um, focused on women. Women was actually my stronghold, and I just wanted to, I, I, I just wanted to f sleep with every lady I could. I was going after different ladies. I was smoking weed. I was, um, I was drinking, but not much. I wasn't much of a drinker, but more, I, I, I used to drink. Um, but not so much as in the way I enjoy taking weed because I felt it made me high and I remember there was a time I took weed I thought I was going I literally thought that that was it I thought I was going to go crazy that day because I was staring at myself at the mirror I was just laughing at my own reflection and it was it was an experience so I was just trying I, I was I was just like your every regular guy chasing after ladies but I was never satisfied with one lady. I was always going after one, going after this, going after that. I could have like three ladies at the same time where that I was with and I would just be lying to them. It was just a season of lie and deception. I remember one time I wanted to use my, <laughs> I wanted to use my um, school fees then to, because I felt like this lady was the kind of lady that wants to, that needs to, that, that needs to see that there is money. I, needed, I wanted to use my school fees then to to scam her, to make her feel like, okay, I deal in pounds, I deal in dollars, whereas it was my school fees. So it was a season for me then that I was always just trying to fill up this void in my heart. I felt like, I felt like it, this is what made me like um, awesome, this is what made me cool, because then I'll be with guys, we'll be talking about this girl, what happened between me and this girl, and we'll just be laughing over it, we'll say, okay, on to the next one, on to the next one. I thought this is what was actually cool, you understand? But deep down in my heart, I remember every time I, was, I, I had sex with a lady and I was done, I knew I always felt like, ah, man, is that it? Is that it? There's, there's got to be more. So that was just my life. And of course, it affected every other aspect of my life. It, aspect, it affected even my grades in school. My grades were not so good. So my life wasn't really um, the kind of life that was inspirational or inspiring to anybody. The only people in my life inspired were boys who did not know where they were going to. Ah, this guy is always with this lady, he's always with that lady. Ah, like this guy is enjoying his life, but not really. You know, then we, we I used to think that uh, when, people, when someone comes to preach to me about God, I used to feel like, ah no, if I receive Christ into my heart or I start following God, it's, my life will become boring. I have to give away all this part of all this fun part of my life. Okay, yes, I wanted to the idea. I love the idea because I was born in a Christian home. I wanted to follow God, but I felt like following God would make me boring and um, like have to be holy, holy. I'm, I'm going to be living a miserable life because I really love to have sex with ladies. I really love to drink. I really love to smoke. I really just want to have fun with people, make fun of people, lie. And yes, oh my God, I was a liar. Like when you say someone was a liar, I lied. I almost got paid for lying. Like sometimes my friend could get stranded in a place. Maybe he was almost getting caught in a lie. Maybe the girl is, he's, the girl he's with is about to catch him in a lie. He always call me to tell me, oh, man, what will I say? What will I say? And just like that, I always have something to tell him that will just make him make everything okay. So lie was like this for me. So I felt like, okay, following God is going to make me like all of a sudden have to leave all those things I used to enjoy before life is going to become boring for me, which was a big life from hell that I did not know. So this is how I went all my life. And of course, I graduated from, I finished my bachelor's and I came out with a third class. No vision, no purpose, no direction on where to go to. I, when I really came out with that grade, um, grade I really felt like my life was over because 
I spent all my university life going after women and actually not planning for my future. And now I graduated with a third class and I did not know what next to do. I, I just thought that, I remember then I used to go on the internet, what is the future for someone with a third class and all those kind of stuff. But I did not know that God in his infinite mercies was planning and preparing me for something greater. So that is how I finished my served my university and then I went on to my service. There's something we call in back in the country where I come from. After you finish your university, you do your national service. So by the divine will of God, I was posted somewhere in um, a, one, a remote area in Nigeria to do my service. I tried to walk my way so I could be reposted back to Lagos where I actually lived. But it didn't work out. But I didn't know that God was planning something for me. So it was in that place I was posted for my service in 2013 was where I actually encountered Christ for the first time. You know, how my encounter was is just amazing. Like, I, 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 while I was doing my service, I was still doing, living my life the way I wanted to do, still sleeping with ladies. And in one of my encounters with the lady was where I actually encountered the mercy and the love of God. I was with a girl that time and uh, we were like in the church. And in that church, I had, like, then I used to hear people say that maybe they, they kissed the girl in the church. And I'll be like, how can you do such a thing? How can you do such a thing that don't you have the fear of God? But I did not know I was going to do something far worse. I had sex with the girl in the church. I had sex with the girl in the church. And that is where God's arm of mercy came upon me. And God showed me his love. That day, after I had sex with that girl in the church, the Holy Spirit began to convict me and I, I remember going down on my knees in the altar and I cried and I said, Lord, if you can deliver me from this spirit of fornication, you have solved more than 50% of my problem. And from that day, God began to do some amazing things in my life. And funny enough, first thing he did was to kill the desire for fornication in my heart. He began to drunk, take away some kind of friends from me, friends that were influencing me negatively on his own. I didn't chase anybody away. They just started losing interest in calling me. They just started leaving me. And he started staring up this desire in my heart to spend time in his word, to study his word. I started spending time in his word, studying his word, meditating on his word. And little by little, he started changing my life. He started dropping things in my life, some bad habits, some characters. I used to be addicted to pornography. I used to be addicted to pornography. So many things. And God was able to deliver me from all those things. And he was able to set me free. He renewed my mind. One of the things I love so much that God did for me was my mind. He renewed my mind in a way that it still looks magical to me. Like my thoughts are so amazing right now. My thought pattern right now is just so amazing. The kind of words that come out of my mouth now are so amazing. But it did not just end there, okay? Aside from God changing my inner man, he renewed my spirit, he gave me a new mind. Then, it started to restore all the things I lost in the past. Now, this is a guy that had a third class in the university, in my bachelor's. He made a way for me to start my master's and what he did during my master's degree was exceptional. In the sense that this guy who came out with the third class all of a sudden had a 3.86 GPA. Like, I started moving from my, I said my master's and my GPA was just amazing. In, in a whole semester, in my whole courses, I could have 4.0 out of 4.0 in all my, in all my courses. So it was just amazing. And how, not only did he do that for me, he, he surrounded me with favor. I was favored in my department. I started climbing from just a student. I climbed up to be a, to become an assistant. From an assistant, while still doing my masters, I became an instructor, a part-time instructor in my department. So, and I got close to the head of my department, to all the all the instructors in my department. Now, this guy that had no future, that had no vision, that had nothing to write about, just changed entirely. He transformed me. He, 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 he lifted me up and placed me in a place that I could not even imagine or dream of. Right now, I have a paper that I wrote and it is indexed in Scopus and in um, uh, Web of Science for some of us who understand these things. My, I have a paper that is indexed in Scopus and in Web of Science and these are high ranking um, places for your papers to be indexed in. And when I look at this thing and I realize that this is me, I am the one with this. 
It's just amazing what God can do for you when he steps into your life. Not only did he renew my spirit, he also renewed my mind. He surrounded me with favor. He lifted me up. He placed me in places where I couldn't have even imagined. He changed my academic career. I remember then when I was trying to do my master's, I was looking for small, small universities where I could do my master's. But now, God has lifted me up so high that I'm looking for scholarships and big, big universities for my PhD. These are things that I felt that were impossible for me before. But God has done it for me. So I just thought I should share this with somebody. There is nothing God cannot do. If you allow God into your heart, if you allow God into your life, He's ready to transform you. He's ready to make you a testimony. I am a testimony. I have so much testimonies I could share with people. Let me, I have another testimony I want to share right now. I remember part of the things that God did for me also was that I used to be asthmatic. I used to use um, inhaler. Um, I, sorry, I used to use, um, there's this thing they call um, Ventolin tablets. They have the inhaler of it, but I never used the inhaler. I normally use the tablets. And every every time I have an, I had an attack, I took the tablet and it helped me. But God healed me in that aspect too, in the sense that I had a testimony one day that provoked me. And one evening I was having my unusual attack and I packed my drugs and I threw it out of my house. And I told God that, God, if you cannot heal me, then whatever wants to happen to me should happen to me. But while I threw it out of the house, I was a little bit scared that when this thing gets so intense, I might go downstairs and pick it up and take again. So I went down, I packed it because there's a canal at the back of my house. I packed it and I threw it into the canal because I knew that, okay, now it's gone. There's no way I could get it anymore. And that was my last day I ever took that tablet since 2014 and we're in 2018 right now. So you see, not only does God transform you, God also heals you. So my life has been a testimony and I decided to share this so that I don't know so that you could be inspired to hold on to God, believe him. If he has made you a promise, he will fulfill it. God can still change your life around. Don't and and don't think that in these things you're doing, you're going to find fulfillment. Like then I used to think that I, I the number of ladies I slept with was kind of building my I was gathering trophies and making myself feel good. I thought I was actually enjoying my life. But right now, even if you offer me millions of dollars to go back to that life, I cannot because even the thought of going back to that life, that life was a life of defeat. I was defeated in that life. It is now I'm truly enjoying my life because I'm in control of my life. I wake up every morning knowing that I'm fully favored, that God surrounds me with favor like a shield. When I go out for opportunities, I know that I can be favored. When people are complaining that there's a casting down, I know that my case is different because I operate under a different set of rules. Why? Because I now have my path aligned with God. Before, I used to be scared to make decisions, but now I make my decisions knowing I cannot make a mistake because the Lord is the one who orders my path. He's the one who orders my footsteps. So, I decided to share this with us today. I don't know where you are right now. If you are still struggling with one sin or the other, or you are still feeling that maybe if you receive Christ or you, you allow Christ into your heart, your life will become boring. Bro, that's the big life of the pit of hell. Your life will never, you will, you will never be boring. In fact, your life becomes more exciting because there are some things that you can never comprehend you would ever do. You will find yourself doing those things. So this is how God took me from a third class to a first class. God took me from struggling in my grades to becoming the best in my one of the best in my department. Right now, in my department, you cannot come to my university where I did my master's and go to my department and ask after me and someone will say they do not know me. Because even while I was doing my master's, I was made an instructor in my department. So if it's not God, I don't know who else it can be. Only God can transform a man. Only God can take a man from nothing and transform him into something. So, I encourage you today, hold on to God, look on to God. There is nobody God cannot change. There is nobody situation God cannot transform. I am a testimony, I am a witness of the goodness and mercies of God. How God changed my mind, gave me a vision. Right now, I'm living my life with a vision and it's so sweet. Waking up every morning knowing that you have a purpose. In my department, they know that there is something different about me. In one of my videos I shared earlier about how we are supposed to do a project in my department and all my senior colleagues and my instructors told me how this project I was about to do, the method I wanted to use was impossible. I almost believed them, if not for the word of God that made me, to, made me to understand that with God all things are possible. If you put your eyes on God, all things are possible. That was what I kept on telling myself, with God all things are possible, with God all things are possible. And I did it. In fact, I did it so well that they begin to question the authenticity of the project, like if the project was actually up to standard. And they had to invite some external um, instructors and professors to come in and check the project. And they actually, they actually gave their recommendations like, 
wow, I really studied hard to have accomplished this. But it was not really much of study, it was just God who empowered me and gave me the grace to do it. So wherever you are, I just want to encourage you. God is amazing. God is sweet. There is nobody like God. There is nothing like God. There is nothing that gives true satisfaction like God. God took me, a womanizer like me, a fornicator like me, a, a, an addict like me, and transformed me and purified me and sanctified me and renewed me into the person I am today. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. God is awesome. God is amazing. So that's it. I just felt I should share this with you. And this is how God brought me from where I was to where I am today. And it's all by the mercies and grace of God. Thank you very much for listening. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please, 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 please subscribe to this channel. As much as God reveals to me, I will also make it known to you. I posted so many other videos before. If you have not looked at them, I've said some. I posted some videos on vision, some videos on trusting God, some videos on growing spiritually. If you have not seen any of those videos, you can just check it um, in the channel. So please, once again, don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day and keep your eyes stayed on God. Remember, God has built us has built us to become inspirations. He wants us to be an inspiration to people it's source of inspiration to people that is why he's inspiring us and that's what this channel is all about inspiring people to be an inspiration to others have an awesome day and don't forget to hit the subscribe button god loves you take good care of yourself thank you very much